So you wanna know how to get your kids to listen without yelling? Well, I'm Brad Dude with Influencer Parenting, where we help parents become the strongest influence in the life of their child, because the strongest influence in the life of your child wins. Now, before I explain exactly how to get your kids to listen without yelling, I have to warn you about this video. This is going to be about fixing you and your processes as mom and dad. So you need to get a full length mirror and I'm gonna help you look in it. But most importantly, I'm gonna get this behind you so you can stop yelling. So let's dive in. The strongest influence in your child's life wins. Is that you? I'm Brad Zood and this is Influencer Parenting. All right, so first of all, if this is your first time viewing our influencer parenting videos, we're so glad you're here. Drop a like, drop a subscribe. We drop multiple pieces of content every single week to help you become the strongest influence in the life of your child. All right, so let's talk about how to get your kids to listen without yelling. So there are three aspects of your parenting authority. Number one, who you are as a person. Number two, the tone of voice or the threatening that you have. And then number three, your actions that you take if something's not done. So let's be honest, parenting is hard. And as a dad of seven children, I can definitely relate to what you're going through. But here's what happens. We get lazy as parents, okay? We don't wanna take the time to pre-instruct our children, which eliminates 90% of all issues. But most importantly, we don't wanna take the time to give our children consequences if they disobey us. So what do we do? We actually use fear, anger, and yelling to accomplish what we wanna accomplish. We're frustrated that we don't have a plan and we're frustrated because we know we're not going to follow through. So we literally have to use scare tactics to get our children to do something. So if you're a parent like, oh, I'm so frustrated because I can't get anything done unless I'm this mean mom monster all day long. Well, it's for one of a couple reasons. Number one, we don't plan. We don't train our children or lay out an expectation. And then number two, we don't deliver consequences on the back end. At Influencer Parenting, we show you how to get your kids to actually do the good that you wanna do because you as a person is one of those three things that I named and we want our children to respect you and know that you're a great planner and that you will follow through and it makes life so much easier. So some of you might be thinking, oh, I'm too busy to plan or uh, you know, I've tried consequences and they don't work. Well, here's how those things break down. Number one, you need to find time to plan and go get on the same page with your spouse and understand your goal and your vision for your children and train them what you need to do. So for example, we have seven children, like I said, it's really cold in Iowa. So we have get in the car drills. Yes, we literally practice getting in the car. You know what it's like trying to get seven children with matching mittens and hats and gloves and shoes and socks and coats and all that kind of stuff on? It's crazy, but we practice it and we lay out the expectation so that it goes a lot smoother from the get-go. So then your children think, wow, they're telling me what to do and I know that they'll follow through with a consequence if I don't do that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and obey and life is gonna be good. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, Brad, I've tried consequences and you don't understand, my child is tougher. He doesn't, it doesn't matter if I take away the car keys or the iPhone or put him in timeout, he just doesn't do what I say. Well, I'm gonna link you to another video right here talking about consequences and getting your consequences right because they need to be a deterrent for behavior. Like, look, I've never been to prison and I don't plan on going because I hear it's terrible. And that's partly motivation of, okay, I'm going to obey the law because I don't wanna go to prison. So if you wanna get kids to listen without yelling, you have to pre-plan and show them what you wanna do in a time of non-conflict. Then you have to follow through with consequences if they don't follow instruction. So being a yelling, threatening, repeating parent can literally disappear overnight if you calmly take the time to take those two steps on the front and the back end and your life will be so much easier. All right, so look, if you're frustrated and just have no idea where to turn next, I'm gonna post a link in this description, okay? I would encourage you to check out Influencer Parenting so that you can get the emotional and mental support you actually need to make massive life transformation because children are amazing and we want you to have an amazing influencer relationship with your child to where they want to do the good that you're trying to teach them to do without all the fighting and yelling and the struggle. All right, so right below me is going to be a link to the video about 
consequences and disciplining your children. I think it's going to help you be encouraged on how to appropriately do that in the way good discipline works for your children that can help you in your parenting. So click the link below there. Make sure to subscribe and we will see you on the next one.